Fukushima exports first beef in 30 months. Cattle farmers in Fukushima Prefecture have resumed beef exports to the United States for the first time in two and a half years. Farmers celebrated they freaking celebrated the shipment of three cattle with a ceremony on Sunday. The leader of a local agricultural cooperative said the resumption is a tailwind for Fukushima farmers who have been suffering from the effects of the nuclear accident. Yes, of course, if Americans accept their severely contaminated radioactive beef, everybody else should do the same. It's certainly a great way to get back at the Americans for Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The three cattle will be processed in Japan and the meat will be sold to upscale restaurants in the United States. The question of course remains whether the patrons of those upscale restaurants are going to be told their beef came from Fukushima. Exports of Japanese beef to the United States were suspended due to an outbreak of foot and mouth disease in southern Japan in 2010. The suspension was lifted in August. Cattle in Fukushima undergo radiation tests before shipment. No results of any tests will naturally be disclosed to the American public. But prices of Fukushima beef are 70 to 80 percent of pre-disaster levels. Livestock farmers hope the resumption of exports will help to erase concerns about radioactive contamination. Farmers can hope all they want but the concerns about radioactive contamination will escalate. Remember to ask your waiter where the meat came from when you are dining in any restaurant anywhere in the country. On the other hand, as long as Dale Klein, Senator Alexander, NRC Chairman McFarlane, Commissioners Megwood, Apostolakis and other proponents of nuclear power dine in those restaurants, the hope for decent people to replace them soon will remain as well. It did not take long for that Japanese TV host to get leukemia after eating Fukushima food. Thanks to NHK for the original report. NHK bears no responsibility for the commentary. Comments and emphasis are those of the author of the video. Thank you for watching. October 14, 2012